What's cracking guys, Blair here. We're covering a topic today that might interest some of you guys. It relates to this big orange cone right here. Some refer to it as a traffic cone. We're gonna do a little modification to it. Get her all suited up for the season that's coming upon us here very soon. You guys stay tuned for that. We got some stuff before it uh, to go over and to cover, but I'm gonna be taking a little bit of premium ultra matte spray paint, mixing it with this plastic orange cone and we're gonna have ourselves a little flogger slan machine. So you guys stay tuned for that. Let's get right into the video here. There's a lot to say. Um, this afternoon after work, I had a package come in, so I figured I'd start with that. So we'll get rolling with that here. The garage is a mess, so we'll just see how this goes. It actually came from a local company here in Minnesota, Omnia Fishing, and I picked up some stuff. I've got a college derby coming up here soon, as well as a tournament with my dad. Uh, it's called the Real Team Bass Series. We'll be fishing that it's in the Alexandria area. Should be fun, but I had to grab a little bit of tackle. So we're gonna rip some tackle out of here. Got a bunch of rods on the deck still from pre-fishing the other day. Tournaments this weekend. And and the college tournament is next week. So these will all be posted after those times, but I'm just keeping you guys in the loop of what's going on with the life of Blair. You know what? I don't like this angle. We're gonna, we're gonna change her up. We're gonna change her up. We need that crispy footage, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, by the way, we went to Johnson's Portside today, had to pick up some stuff that I could not get from the Omnia website because Untamed Tackle is an online retailer and I needed some of the juice. So I picked up some of the new chartreuse shiitake jigs. About to put those to work in some dirty water. But if you guys have never had these before, these chips right here will change your life. Dad wasn't too adventurous, so he wanted to keep it simple with like the salt and vinegar. But if you guys ever see these Dutch crunches and sour cream and dill, they are addicting. Best chips I've ever had, I swear. You got to try some. They're amazing. All right, back to the video. Yeah, this is a lot cooler. There's a boat in the video. Bass cat. All right, this is what we got. So starting off with some Z-Man. I have already opened this box, but I figured I'd show you guys. Show you guys what I've got. Some Z-Man, palmetto bugs. I like to use those for flipping. I'm starting to get into Z-Man a little more just because they're they are so durable. And with, dang, the gas prices being so expensive, I gotta save pennies every place I can. So Z-Man might be my best friend this year. We got some Rapala DT10s. Can never go wrong with those. One of my favorite colors there. And I, I hate to spend as much money as these things are. I'll grab them all out. But, uh, it was necessary after our Lake Vermilion tournament and the success we had. Had to pick myself up some Vision 110s. Oh yeah. There's $125 down the drain if a pike eats it. If the bass eat it, it's completely worth it. So The other day I lost one. Never caught a fish on it. First fish was a pike that bit it and didn't even get to feel it. Didn't even get to pull into it. It was just gone. Perks of living in Minnesota, I tell you what. Um, some more Z-Man. A little bit of Berkeley goodness. Going to try that out on, I think it's Lake Huron, Saginaw Bay, something like that. Uh, we have a big college tournament coming up next week. And I've heard Max Scent works pretty good on the Great Lakes. So we're going to test that theory. You guys stay tuned. Got some big old swim baits. tube jigs oh yeah that's about it got some super line swim bait hooks right there but that's it for the unboxing so uh yeah i mean that's the recent update got a pretty sweet order in the mail won't be spending a whole lot more money this year need to pinch my save my Save my money where I can. Um, this tournament season is going to be a lot more expensive than my previous one, uh, mostly because of gas prices, uh, which is just 
a very real deal right now. If anybody out there is fishing, you understand what I'm talking about. The financial stress of going out fishing is a lot more than it used to be, which is very unfortunate. But uh, hopefully things change because I don't know how long people can go on living with gas prices that are almost $5 a gallon. Yeah, not fun. Let's get into the real part of this video. As many of you can guess, I'm probably not the best person to learn how to spray paint from, but I'm gonna show you how I spray paint this vlogger because why not? Why not make a video out of it? Teach some people how to do something. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. There is some cotton still floating around here in Minnesota, which is very annoying. The cottonwood trees are absolutely dumping on our lakes. You know, there might be a little bit of cotton all over it, but it just gives it character. Now you might be asking yourself, Blair, why would anybody want to spray paint one of these things? And it's not actually for camouflage from other fishing fishermen. Uh, these, if, if you don't know what this is, this big orange cone, it's actually an underwater viewing device. It's meant for sight fishing during the bed season. And you can view beds as deep as pretty much as deep as you can see water visibility wise. So basically what you do, I'm gonna set this here. You take it, put your head right up in this little nook. That's how it works. You can see in the water, you have your head sticking right over the edge of the boat. Look in the water and Depending on how your situation is, it can be yourself holding it one-handed and actually watching a fish trying to catch it down there. Or sometimes if you're in a partner situation, you can be down looking at the fish and tell your partner if it's in deep water and you know waves, hard to see, hard to feel, you can tell them when to set the hook. So these are very helpful and are a friend during the bed season. Let's see what this baby looks like when it is painted up. The purpose of painting it is not actually to camouflage the flogger from other fishermen, although it does do that because this thing sticks out like a sore thumb. The actual purpose of it is so that no light is actually penetrating through the device. So when you're using the flogger, if you spray paint it with this black spray paint or any dark spray paint really, what it does is it keeps that sunlight from coming through the flogger. That way the inside of your flogger is very dark and that helps because it allows you to see fish even better. Sometimes that sun will actually ca cause it to be hazy or hard to see through the flogger. So keeping a dark inside is gonna help you out tremendously when trying to view these fish underwater. Oh yeah. Oh. What? She is not adhering like I thought it would. That is not ideal. All right, we're gonna be a little lighter with her on this other stuff. What the heck, do I suck that bad? <laughs> Probably. Coat number one. I'll do two coats on this bad boy. Doesn't look bad. We got ourselves a flogger for real now. We already have a piece of cotton on the paint. All right, we're gonna let that baby set for 45 minutes, an hour, and then paint her one more time and I'll show you guys the finished result. As I said before, not a professional painter, nor am I a professional fisherman, but uh, at least I aspire to be one of those. <laughs> Ugh. Gotta love it.
it'll buff out on the next run. I'll just spritz it a little softer there and won't even look like anything happened. So we'll be good to go. Stay tuned for the final results. Here we go, guys. The finished product. From the top. Boom. Looks super sweet. Nice black matte finish. Got her all decked out. It's going to work awesome for those smallmouth out on Saginaw Bay, hopefully, and anything in the future when I'm doing some smallmouth fishing. That's how it's done. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing related videos this summer, uh, mostly bass fishing tournament related tournaments and instructionals. Uh, helpful videos for you guys hopefully to give you some advice how to catch a little more bass out there but that's the final result you guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a like and comment down below if you're going to try using this in the future appreciate you watching we'll see you in the next one peace